In this example, we're going to look at the concept of absolute value. Absolute value of a number is the distance that number is from zero on the number line. The notation these, with these two vertical bars is used to represent absolute value. And the absolute value of a number is always positive. So let's see how that works in the examples below. The first one, the absolute value of negative two-thirds. Well, I'm going to plot negative two-thirds on the number line here. And the distance that negative two-thirds is from zero is two-thirds. Distance is always positive. Therefore, the absolute value of negative two-thirds is two-thirds. The second one, if I look at the absolute value of three, if I plot three on the number line, the distance that three is from zero is three. So the absolute value of three is three. In the next example, we have a couple of different situations. Notice here that the negative is outside the absolute value. So I'm going to plot negative 7 fifths on the number line. Excuse me, I'm going to plot 7 fifths, which is here, because that's what we're taking the absolute value of, is 7 fifths. The distance that 7 fifths is from 0 is 7 fifths. So the absolute value part is 7 fifths. The negative stays and goes along, stays out front, so the result of the negative of the absolute value of 7 fifths is negative 7 fifths. So you'll want to keep your negative straight and see whether they're inside the absolute value or outside. <clears throat> In example B here, I have negative absolute value of negative 1. So let's focus on this part first. I'm looking at negative 1 and the distance that negative 1 is from 0 is 1. So the absolute value of negative 1, this part, is 1. So I'm going to put that in parentheses just for emphasis. So this negative stays on the outside so if I want to simplify the result, it's just negative 1. <clears throat>